After a very long investigation by Michigan State Police and Attorney General Dana Nessel's office, her staff is now seeking appointment of a special prosecutor to consider criminal charges against nine people, including Republican Attorney General candidate Matt DiPerno. That's who is trying to unseat her in November. And the AG's office is pointing to evidence tying DiPerno and the others to an alleged criminal scheme to seize and tamper with voting machines. Six News reporter Autumn Pitcher joins us now live in studio and is here for you now with more details. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning, everyone. According to multiple news outlets, DiPerno led a team that gained unauthorized access to voting equipment that, according to the investigation, took place while he was searching for evidence to support former President Donald Trump's election fraud claims. A report sent by Attorney General Dana Nessel's office shows that people working with DiPerno examined a vote tabulator from Richfield Township, which is mostly conservative and consists of 3,600 people in northern Michigan's Roscommon County. Under state law, it is a felony to seek or provide unauthorized access to voting equipment. Last night, DiPerno responded to the allegations on social media by saying, My opponent called for me to be arrested for the crime of investigating voter fraud in 2020. He went on to say, Hitting opponents with made up charges close to an election is the behavior of third world dictatorships, not the USA. And even though he says it in his statement, Nessel has not called for him to be arrested. And of course, as we get more details, we will continue to keep you updated both on air and online. Here for you live in studio, Autumn Pitcher, 6 News.